Hi everybody, Maria here. I hope you are doing great today. And we are going to make some fun little charms today. I watched a video by Junk Journals or Junk Journaling with Donna, and she is fantastic. And she did a video making these kind of charms, but she used like real um, cloth, uh, you know, those cloth rulers and the plastic ones like, like uh, this one. This is my only one though, and I actually use it for measuring, so I don't want to um, cut it up. And so I found a download, a fantastic download. Let me let me talk to you guys about that for a minute. So I'm gonna grab this basket, and I'm probably gonna have to come up a bit. So I was watching a video by Tracy Fox, and she shared a digital place called, I love their digitals, and it's called witchcraftdoyoudo.com. This one was, they had this one on the top. It's a freebie. It's a six page freebie and it's the same print but in a few different colors. And I just thought it was a fun collage sheets. So I downloaded those and printed them. I think I can do some fun things with that in any case. So they have these things um, called bits and pieces and they're just lots of fun different prints. And they're very reasonably priced. I know I'm I'm zoomed in a lot, so you can't see all of it. But um, if you want me to do, I would say if you want me to do an actual flip through, I will. But the thing is, I've cut up so much of it. Their their most current bits and pieces. Uh, number four is to show uh, to be able to use like the new Tim Holtz collage strips. And so they have it in. The amount of pages you get is just insane for such a reasonable price. So you get it in like a violet and a purple, blues, aquas, tans, olives, browns, pinks. It's just phenomenal the amount you get for the price. And and strips in that too. So and then the rulers was in one either three or four. And then there's rulers also in I want to say bits and pieces one. So I started cutting up some of it. So like I'm putting it in here. This is how I keep my digitals that I cut up or my ephemera. And so like I'm keeping the tans and the browns in one. And then that's the olives. And then I haven't cut up much of the pink yet, but that's some of the pink. And then my favorite aqua is there. Pink and aqua are my favorite. So that's how I'm doing that. And then I need to get a container for my strips. I'm going to keep all the strips together except the rulers, which I'm going to keep separate because I'm a, I am really love rulers. I don't know why. I've just come to think that they're amazing. So I've got those in there for now, but I will need a bigger container because some of the rulers in the latest one I got and cut up are longer. And then they have this. I love this. So I have that. And then I have some tools that I'm going to need and some fabric strips and some crochet lace to the side and stuff that I think we can add to it and then some bulb pins so that we can use those and then this this is also from kit one or two and I thought we could use those too so I'm going to use some chipboard she layered up thick cardstock but I am too lazy to layer up thick cardstock so I'm going to use chipboard and I'm going to use this guy and this. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick whatever you want to, your, your, your piece that you want to put on here. So I'm just going to find a piece that I like, that I think will be cool, which is any of it, honestly. Let's do something. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm working on next. So I'm just going to go in a brown family because I feel like that will match just about anything. And then we'll do something in a color because I already have two brown. Now, just to show you guys on this one, let's see if I can get it here. I did not do any kind of coverage on top. This one has some UV resin. Okay. All right. So you want to cut it so that it is slightly, just barely slightly bigger than your actual strip. And it doesn't need to be as long as your strip because it just needs to be as long as you want it to be. So actually, I'm going to go this way, I think. And I'm going to get my pencil. And I'm going to mark how big I want it. Okay. 
So then I am going to get my big old quilt grid here. And I am gonna try to do this, although I like to do it at an angle. See, this is not straight. This piece right here is not straight. Can I see here if that goes there? Hmm, well, let's see. Can I? Straight's important with a ruler, right? Okay, let's give this a go. Okay. And then we can see how it looks after, and if it doesn't look right, we can cut again. All right, so we're not gonna need it this long anyhow. All right, so let's get our piece and see if that's gonna work for us. Width-wise, I think that works just fine. So now I'm gonna decide how long I want it, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna get crazy, and I'm just gonna use some scissors for this part. Move some things out of the way. Here are my scissors. Here's hoping to a decent amount. Now the reason I'm not trying to be more saving with this piece here is because, although I might use that, it's so crooked. So, on part. So I think we're going to go with that. I feel like this is crooked right here a little bit, but maybe it's just my eyeballs. Okay. And I'm just not a perfectionist, so I feel like this is a nice size. You could do shorter if you want. All right, so next I'm going to use my Distress Oxide ink. One of the cool things she showed was, you know, you can use a dark ink to edge it and make it look like it's got that laser cut feel. So I thought that was very cool. This is a fairly thick chipboard, but it's very pliable. So I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna cover both sides and I'm just gonna use the same ruler piece to cover both sides. Okay. And you can see it's not the same print on both sides, but that doesn't really matter because we are covering it. And if you want, you can add a little of this if you're worried about anything. Okay, so this is ground espresso, which is darker than I usually use, but I think it looks really good for this. Then I am going to figure out, I should probably zoom in a little bit, huh? Do this here. Let's do this. Okay. Then I am going to figure out where I need to cut this. And I am going to do it at just below the six. Okay. Let's see how that looks. And I'm actually going to take off right up to the six. And then I'll test it again. Measure twice, right, before you glue. I know it's measure twice, cut once, but there we go. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to pull my camera toward me a little more again so I don't have to reach so much. Then I'm actually going to ink my ruler as well. just to get those white edges off and stuff. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this, just match this up here. So I get the same length twice. And it doesn't really matter which goes on which side, right? Do that again. Okay, so then let's glue these tigers on. We will use my art glitter glue. I'm just getting some little glue off the tip. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the paper. I printed this just on 65 pound weight paper. I find though that my uh, printer prints brighter on cardstock than it does on actual paper. And I do have like a 24 pound that's uh, got like a nice brightness to it, but it still prints brighter on the cardstock. And then let's do the other side. Okay. And 
need to make sure we're going right side up. That's good. Okay. Nice little outline there. Kind of make sure I straighten it out a bit. All right, get my bone folder. And I'm going to need a little tissue. Okay. Let's do that to the other side as well. There we go. All right, so that's what we have so far. And all we're gonna do is put a hole in it. Now I put the larger eyelets in this. I'm gonna see what the smaller ones look like because I dug my small eyelets out of the garage yesterday or the day before. So let me see what that's gonna look like. Uh, let's see here. So they weren't big packaging, but I dug them out and I put them in these guys. So I think and also, if you know what project you're going to use this on, you could use a colored eyelet to match. And I think that would be super cool. So let me see here. Let's just do, um, I'm going to do this color, like copper. I think that will look nice. Okay, and then let me get my crocodile. I think a little more maybe. Okay, so I'm going to use a small end. Punch my hole, okay, and then make sure I get rid of my, you know what, I'll just put it through, and then we'll do that. Might be a tiny bit close to the edge, we'll see. I am all thumbs. Oh, we're okay, we're fine. All right, and then I will get the top. I think I need a smaller setting here. There we go, that one. Then you feed the long skinny piece through the top and press. And there we go, my eyelet split. It's on there nice. Now let us grab a bulb pin or a garment pin, whatever name you like to use. I got this, this was uh, in individual packages, but I got this set from Amazon. I thought I had this color, but I guess not. So let's go with black to match the uh, lines. Oh, wait, I do have some of those. I have some of those. So that or that. I'm going to go with black. Okay. Now, that is done. But we could add stuff to it if we wanted to. Like, we could add some fabric or some lace or something to it to make it just a little more spicy let's see here I kind of like I have this I have the, my keep my um I have some strips of fabric I take a sample of each of my fabric when I get it and make a strip and keep it near me and I kind of like this with this so I think I'm gonna cut a little bit Move it to the side. Maybe. No, let's see. Just, just do I just want to put it on the back there? It's so big. I think it has to be smaller. And then the remnant will just go in my remnant jar. Or in another one. I think that could look good. Putting that onto there. I wonder if I want to put another eyelet though to make it so that it doesn't tug so much. You know, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. So let's grab another one of the same color. Now it's fabric, so it's not going to want to cut as easily, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. It's just maybe folding it over a little bit. And I'm just going to get my... But it, oh, it went through. It did go through. That's nice. Yay, crocodile. Okay, put that there. Now, if I can just use my clumsy little hands. Yay, through. See if I can set that. Oh, wow. Not bad. 
not bad it's set pretty solid and then we're just gonna add that to the back that that piece could be fun on its own but there we go and we've just added that and you know what maybe a little charm I have tons of charms I want to check this one spot though here are my charms that are a little more vintagey I think I can try to come up a little more and show you guys uh, some of them at least are Ooh, that's kind of fun. Let's see here, the birds, butterfly. What if, would that look good on the front? I think that could look good on the front. So let me, let me, I think I'm gonna put, how's that gonna hang? So let me put that from the back to the front. Oh, I, I'm not even on camera. So I put the, the uh, fabric on the back, the, ruler in the middle and this cute little birdie charm on the front you guys should see my desk it's a mess so there's one that we made kind of more fun and a little bit more fancy let's just do one more because I know this is getting a little bit long but let's do one more and let's do it with some of this because it's not gonna be the same Oh, I wonder if I should do it with some of my pretty colored ones, the pinks and the aquas, but we'll just go with this. Ooh, 1947. Music notes. Ooh, look, at here we go. There's this. There we go. So we'll take that. August is a good month. It's the month my dad and my brother were both born in. And let's see. Theater. Okay, that's what we're going to use. We're going to use those two. All right, and let's get our card chipboard, and you know, let's see if this is even before we start. It's not too bad. Okay, so let's go here and get our stuff. So I'm gonna want this just a pinch bigger. Okay. So I'm going to go just to the outside of that, I think. You know what? You guys can't see again because I am being silly. All right, let me get up here. Line that up to there. If you have a really amazing trimmer, too, you could do this on your trimmer. So there's my line. Okay, I'm just trying to get as straight as I think my little eyeball can do. And this is a glass mat, and it takes on a lot. I really do love this glass mat by We Are Memory Keepers. It's a fantastic mat. All right, let me move that out of the way. I'm just trying to clear out some of the stuff off my desk and make it a little more pliable so I can work here because I am working in a mess. Okay, so there's that. Move that out of the way so I don't cut myself. All right, so we have these two pieces, and we have our chipboard all right let's cut to size it might be a tiny bit it's a tiny bit big you know I'm, I'm not gonna stress over it I'm just gonna cut it and leave it and ink it really well all right so let's go right there all right that feels straight mostly mostly if you hear anything it is just my youngest he's in his room playing some video games I'm sure that is not a surprise to anybody who has children all right so let's ink this really good let's make sure we really get into that edge since it's a tiny bit big on both sides and I am a super soul crafter I know I've said that before but like when Donna did it on her channel she, she just she just got them out and out and out and I am not that fast but I love her ideas she has a really great channel with some really wonderful ideas today she did or put out a video about um, 
paper bags and what you can do with them. And it was just fantastic. I encourage you guys to go show her some support. I would say I'd try to put a link, but you guys know I stink with that. Terrible about linking. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, I want to ink these as well. I know I don't have to cut these off because they're the size they're going to be. Uh, one of the things I do like about the uh, Witch After You Do store too is a lot of their stuff comes so that it looks like it's already edged if you can see in here. Like it's got a black border and if you cut it right you can get it on the good. But you can add anything you want. So alright so then we have this one. Do I want it to go this way? Or do I want it to go this way? Doesn't really matter right? I can just put the eyelet wherever I want. Okay, I, I do wish it was a tiny bit smaller, but say lovey. Okay. Adding our glue. Or, you know what? I might. We'll see. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. It'll just wreck it if I try to make it too. If I try to slice it just a hair. I just don't have that dexterity right now. All right, and let's do the other side. Uh, let's see, the top is the eleven is going to be the top, I think. Yeah. Okay. Eighty-five. A good year. Okay. And I said the eleven. The eleven is going to be the top, so we're going to do that. All right. And then got my napkin at the ready. I am loving this new bone folder I got. It's very cool to have a Teflon bone folder. All right, put my glue pin in. All right, so now let us, let's see, let's compare our eyelet sizes. See which one we like better. I like them both. So I'm just gonna stick with the small one since that's what I have out right now. And we'll just, Put a hole there. I'm going to go a little bit lower this time. All right. Pick a color. So I have the tan and the minty color. And we're just going to go vintage. And I'm going to choose this color. I think it's so cool when you find your, like, I'm a hoarder, so I don't like to throw things away. I don't mind just de stashing things. I like doing that, but I hate throwing things away. And I also don't mind giving things away, but I hate when I have to throw them away. So, But I have tons of stuff. I hold on to stuff, and then I'm like, okay, if I haven't used it in, like, i got to say five years. <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> then, uh, then I'll give it away or de stash it. Okay, this is... There we go. But it did not... Did it set? Oh, it... Mm, no, you guys, I, that's a fail. So I gotta redo it, okay? Fail. Not an epic fail, just a little fail. Did I? I did something there. I don't know what I did, but I can fix it. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Put that to the right setting. That goes there. Where did it go? Oh, it broke. My, my crocodile broke, you guys. The pin came off the little... Okay, that's okay. I have a crocodile big one, too. Um, let's see here. Okay. I am sad, but I've had that for many, many, many years, so I am not surprised. Okay, I just, I'm just i worried about this little boo-boo I made. I guess it just makes it look more vintage, right? Okay, so change that to that. Change that to the smaller one. And put it to the right setting. Okay. 
no big deal. Perfect, all right, there we go. So that's that. Next, I'm gonna add some ink to where it made that dent. And let's see here, then we can, let's see if we want what we want to add to this guy. I do wanna add a charm. I do wanna add, I do wanna add a bulb pen and maybe some lace. So a color bulb pen, let's go with vintage color, we'll do this one. And for a charm. I know you guys can't see the whole box, sorry. Hmm. Just don't want it to be too big. I think we'll stick with this little grouping of small charms. Could do a butterfly. That always looks nice. I think we'll just do that. Let's just keep it simple. And do some lace. I have some some nice crochet lace here. I'll just maybe double it up at the top a little bit for an eyelet, right? Okay, so let's do that. Having some trouble with my thumbs. And my fingers. Okay, so I can always cut that smaller. That's why I made it long, because I can make it shorter, but I can't add, right? Okay, so then let's grab our eyelet again. And let's get a punch. So I'm going to do, since I have the big long one, I'm going to just do this to the side, you guys, to make it easier on you guys to not have to see. It's just hard to see with the big long one on the camera. Okay, so here's what we have for this. So we're gonna do, let's get that crusty eyelet out of the way there. Okay, so we're gonna do, let's do this this way this time. We're gonna do butterfly. And there's our two-sided little charm. And then our fabric. Okay, so that is what we have. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me show you what we have. These are the two that I made. Where's my other one? Oh, he disappeared on me. Oh, well. Oh, well. He's around here somewhere. This is the one I had showed you before. Then this one has the um, UV resin on it. And then here are the two we made just now. Super easy super simple and i think they're super cute and they would look great on a page in a journal or on the side in a journal and i love them i think they're great and i really appreciate donna and her inspiration go check out her channel thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate you take care bye, -bye.